Hey there, Tony Policastro here with the Acoustic Letter brought to you by Music Villa. Today we're going to look at the Taylor 914 CE First Edition, which is very, very cool. But before I get into this instrument, I want to remind you to stick around to the end of the video and sign up for the Acoustic Letter. Just for signing up today, I'm going to send you my personal gear list for free. <laughs> On to the newly redesigned Taylor 914 CE, and this one happens to be a first edition. I gotta be honest, I'm gonna just come right out and say it. I never really was fond of the Taylor 914, or the 900 series in general. I don't know if it was the inlay, I don't know what it was. I thought they were great sounding guitars, but I looked at them and I always thought, that's a nice guitar, it's well made, I like the way it sounds but I just couldn't get over certain aspects of it. And I gotta be honest, that whole notion's been completely flipped around by this guitar. In fact, every time I feel like Taylor redesigns something, I'm like, oh, wow, that's incredible. And this is definitely following suit. The new 914 CE has a Sika spruce top, an ebony bridge with a tusk saddle, ebony bridge pins. The binding around the top, very, very cool. We have an ebony binding, and right next to it, we have a lighter koa trim. And then in the middle is a nice little little, little thin, uh, thin layer of abalone purfling. Very, very classy looking, very cool. Nice, comfortable ebony armrest. Underneath the top, we have advanced performance bracing, specially designed and voiced for not only this body size, but for this tonewood combination, which the back and sides are East Indian rosewood, a very high grade of East Indian rosewood and it looks awesome. We also have a nice little Koa backstrip. Very simple, very classy, very, very cool guitar. The sound hole is bound in ebony, also has an abalone rosette. We have an ebony fingerboard, again with that Koa purfling. Really cool abalone inlay along the entire fingerboard. We have an inch and three quarter tusk nut, Taylor style headstock with an ebony overlay, Taylor inlaid in the top. Goto 510 tuners, which are very, very smooth, very high ratio tuners. Very comfortable mahogany neck. The back of the peg head has an ebony back strap, which is very classy, especially against those gold tuners. And it comes with the expression system too installed. Throughout this guitar, wherever there's really crucial wood to wood contact, the bridge to the top, the neck joint, protein glues are used. So this guitar is really designed for maximum tonal transfer. And I feel like it excels in that. So. Without further ado, I'm going to give the Taylor 914 CE First Edition a play so you can hear what it sounds like.
Don't forget to sign up for the acoustic letter today. It's the quickest way to get pricing and photos of all of these guitars, and it will ensure that you never miss a review. And just for signing up today, I'm gonna to send you my personal gear list for free. Because as a guitar reviewer, people always ask me what I play personally. And when you look at this list, you're gonna see banjos, dobros, you name it, it's on there. Strings, picks, it's all on there. Most of this stuff I got is actually from Music Villa. And yes, it's true. I am very biased because they are my hometown store, but the staff is awesome. They're actual musicians, they know their stuff, and their inventory is top notch from standard models on up through really, really cool customs. So the next time you're in the market for an acoustic guitar, please give these guys a shout. Go to their website at acousticletter.com to see their full inventory or give them a call at 406-587-4761. Thanks a lot for checking them out.